Hello students, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn Basels and Stahl experiment from grade 12 biology molecular basis. What did this um, scientist prove? He, they proved that DNA replicates semi-conservatively. You are all clear with what is meant by replication, I'm sure. If you're not, replication means making of one more molecule of the DNA that. Okay, so what is meant by semi-conservatively is the term that we need to learn. Okay, so let's say you have a DNA molecule making of two molecules out of it. It can be in different ways. Okay, making of two molecules out of the first molecule, either this way or this way or this way is called as a replication. Alright, making of two molecules from a single molecule of DNA. Alright, fine. It can happen in different uh, ways and finally it was proved by Mieselson and Stahl. It, it doesn't happen any way. It, was, it happens only by one method and that is the method that you need to learn. But we should also know the other models which were proposed by different people. right? So the first model proposed was conservative model. Second was semi-conservative and the third one was dispersive. So what does all that mean is from one single DNA molecule as you can see this is the parent molecule from which you will get two daughter molecules. The first molecule remains as such and a new molecule completely new is produced. That is called as conservative model. Second model is called as a semi-conservative and this is the one that we they proved that happens actually. Um, in this case, the first DNA molecules, two strands are there, right? One strand goes into one molecule of the newly formed DNA. Another strand, this strand goes over here. And for both of these old strands, both are represented by dark blue color. For both of these strands, new, new newly formed strand is formed around it by joining of nucleotides. All right, that is called as a semi-conservative model and that's the model that they proved is happening or that is the way that DNA replicates. So let's say, let's understand how Mieselson and Stahl proved it. To prove that DNA replicates semi-conservatively, what was done was uh, they grew some bacteria called as E. coli bacteria on a particular medium all right now whenever a bacteria is growing on a medium it will try to incorporate um, the contents of the medium into its parts including its dna right so that particular medium had nitrogen in it and nitrogen is required for the bacteria's dna and all our dna as well the Nitrogen that was there in that medium was not the normal nitrogen that we have. Usually, we are aware of the nitrogen that is nitrogen 14 isotope. But the medium in which the first group of bacteria were grown was having N15 as the nitrogen content in the medium. I hope it is clear. A group of bacteria called as E. coli was made to grow on a medium. Medium is nothing but it's a place where it can grow and absorb nutrients from. Okay, so in that medium was added an isotope of nitrogen called as N15. So at the compound NH4Cl with N15 was added which probably you can learn up later. As of now the medium contained isotope of nitrogen which was not the normal one. Okay, so N15 isotope was present in the medium. So as the bacteria grew for many generations, it started incorporating the nitrogen that is there in the medium and its DNA after many generations would not have any N14 nitrogen at all. Instead, it would have only N15 nitrogen only where in the nitrogen base of the bacteria's DNA. All right. Okay. So it started growing. Now you need to kill it and extract the DNA. Okay. To check what is present in it. And they, it was found that the DNA had only N15 in it. All right. 
So how do you check if this um, bacteria is having N15 itself as the DNA? All right. Uh, oh, sorry, N15 itself in its DNA. For that, there is some uh, centrifugation method because the isotope of nitrogen 14 and nitrogen 15 have different density gradients and from there they can come to know whether it is 15 or 14. So from a colony few bacteria are taken and checked if, if it is N15 only. After ensuring that it is N15 for many generations, what they did was some of the bacteria were transferred into another medium containing N14 as a nitrogen source. So what will happen? The DNA, the bacteria will start growing over there, try to incorporate the N14 into it and after 20 minutes they check the DNA content of those bacteria. Why after 20 minutes? Because every bacteria takes around 20 minutes for it to replicate. Okay, so after 20 minutes when they checked, after putting in the N14 medium, they checked after 20 minutes, they found that the DNA that they got, whatever DNA they, they got, had two strands, one, I mean either way the DNA would always have two strands. In this case, one strand among the two was having N15 as its nitrogen content and the other strand was N14 as a nitrogen content which showed that from the initial one when it is replicating when if you allow the um, new medium having new nitrogen type every DNA molecule is conserving one of the parental strands and incorporating a new strand okay they didn't stop there uh, they could prove that DNA replicates semi-conservatively at this stage itself but they further went ahead after 40 minutes again they checked where they would have completed um, one more replication round right after 20 minutes again again 20 more minutes that is why total 40 minutes they got set of DNA having all right a completely new N14 a two strand, two molecules of it, two molecules having a hybrid molecule that is one strand is old and one strand is new. How did they get this? Okay, so let's see the previous one. This is the hybrid one which happened after 20 minutes. Hybrid meaning one new strand and one old strand retained or conserved. Right from here, just take this, this only, this will scratch out only this. Alright, in this, this strand is here, okay, and the other strand is here. For both of them, they formed a new strand like so, this one and here, this one. Again, proved that and the same repeated for the other DNA molecule and this proved that DNA replicates semi-conservatively. I hope it is clear. If you have any doubts, please ask in the comment box thank you for watching please share with your friends if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe i'll be covering all the chapters with all the important questions soon thank you